and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here then my name is Soph and I have literally just started a degree in Physical Natural Sciences at the University of Cambridge. So the deadline for Cambridge applications is just around the corner and I remember last year when I was applying that there was very little information about the SAQ. So hopefully this will answer any questions that you might have if you are applying. So the SAQ is a supplementary application questionnaire and it's something that you are sent after applying to Cambridge via UCAS. The deadline for completing it is the 22nd of October. Uh, most of it is like an extended version of the UCAS form, you put in some details about yourself. For Natskis you declare if you are a biological Natski or a physical Natski. Um, so if you're called to interview you're asked the appropriate questions. Um, they also ask a bit about your class sizes and what you will and won't have covered at school by the time of the interview. Um, they also ask for a photo, which if you get in will be the photo that is used on your cam card. Um, so try not to pick an embarrassing one, but most of it um, is basically just an extended kind of UCAS form where you have to fill in all your details. Um, the only bit that requires much thought is the section where you can write a mini personal statement which only goes to Cambridge, where you can explain why you chose that specific course and why Cambridge, as there are some unusual courses, um, for example, Anglo-Saxon, Norse and Celtic. So you may have applied for different courses at other unis and therefore your personal statement might not be tailored that well to the course at Cambridge, which they are aware of, um, and you can use this to explain why you picked the course that you did. Um, this section isn't compulsory, so you don't have to write anything, but given I'd applied for physics everywhere else and that I knew that other people would be utilising this opportunity to basically show off what they've done, I thought that I would jump on it as well. So I wrote, um, having spoken to students past and present, I am conscious that many have discovered new interests as a result of the breadth of this course, leading them to change disciplines. I am aware I am yet to fully explore the depth of science at degree level and that in doing so it may lead my life towards a new passion which would otherwise remain undiscovered. When looking at the options available through studying natural sciences, I was particularly intrigued by material science as it links physics and chemistry, two of my favourite subjects. To learn more, I attended a material science taster at Oxford, which allowed me to explore topics I previously not considered in much detail. A highlight was a lecture on advances in efficiency within different types of solar cell. I wondered if this could hold the solution to our energy crisis, which led me to research this further, something I have subsequently written about on my science blog. The extra depth and breadth gained by studying natural sciences will provide me with a better understanding of physics and how different scientific disciplines complement each other. This would allow me to continue to study other subjects which I thoroughly enjoy while studying a specialism in as much detail as a single honours degree. So that's what I wrote. Um, for natural sciences it is quite difficult because kind of everyone knows um, the things like it is a more varied course but then you do still get the same depth. So I had originally written a bit more about that but I was told to take it out because basically they know that. Um, and so I replaced it with um, the highlight of the day was a lecture on the efficiency of solar cells. Um, honestly, I don't even know how much they look at it. Um, I know that some admissions students don't really look too much at personal statements, um, especially for natural sciences and STEM subjects. Um, but if you wanted an idea of what to write, then that is what I wrote. Um, and obviously my application was successful so hopefully that answered your questions ultimately I don't really think the SAQ is anything worth worrying about um, because if you want you don't have to write anything you can literally just fill in the form and send it off but there is an opportunity to write some more if you would like um, and given that there's not much information out there I thought I would make this video just to tell you a little bit more about it so hopefully you found this useful um, if you did please like and subscribe and thank you for watching